guys welcome back to my channel i'm just filming another video for you guys today it will be i think the second video for my shelf timber series so i'll run through whatever i purchased and then whatever i had it in the fridge as well fridge freezer pantry and all that stuff and then i'll go through that meal plan with you guys and then at the end i'll show you clips of the cooked meals so i know i said that i wasn't gonna buy any more stuff to stock up in the pantry but I couldn't help myself, guys, this week with the Shin Ramen noodles because I ran out of this and it was on sale for $4.50 this week. I think normally it's $7.50 or $8, so I had to pick that up. Um, and then I also picked up some chow mein noodles. I think that was $2.50. Broccoli I had in the freezer. Potatoes I need to pick up almost every week. Two kilos for $4.00. Coconut milk, I have a few cans in my pantry, so that's generally 95 cents. This stock base is a dollar. Mushrooms were $11 a kilo. These crackers I got in one of my Christmas hampers, so that I already had this at home. And then I picked up some smoked oysters to have with those crackers as a snack. Bread, I've always got a loaf in the freezer, so I didn't need to buy bread. I think that's $1.60. Canned salmon, they are normally, I think, $2.70 a can, but I usually stock up when they're $1.35. I plan on using this to make a sushi bowl this week. I do prefer salmon over canned tuna. However, one of the videos that I record for you guys, I'm going to have to use up my canned tuna because I think I have like 20 cans. Um, frozen pork mints. I might be using more than this bag. I have lots of little bags of frozen pork mints in my freezer. Eggs, carrots, generally about $2 a kilo. If they're on sale, they're a dollar a kilo. Strawberries were really cheap. They were $2 a punnet this week. And the blackberries were $3.50 this week. So this is what I plan on working with, um, but I did mention in my previous video, I may be pulling out extra ingredients from the pantry or freezer throughout the week, depending on what I'm obviously making. Roughly, I'll go through a rough meal plan with you guys, but you'll see exactly what I end up eating when I attach the clips of the cooked meals anyways. But I plan on doing a vegetable stir fry with a chow mein and adding in a little bit of pork mints. And then I will be doing a curry. I don't know if I mentioned this. I had half a jar of curry in the fridge. So I'm going to be making a vegetarian curry just because it's easier for me to get my veggie intake in that way as well. And rice. Obviously rice is a staple and I always have rice in my pantry. So the curry will go with the rice, the chow mein with the veggies and the pork mints. And then one of the days I'll probably be doing a soup based noodle dish. And I'll add in some veggies, potentially some pork and maybe some fish balls I have in the freezer. Snack wise, it's crackers with smoked oysters. And brekkie, I might do a opened sandwich toasty with pork mince, shredded carrot and some diced onions. I've also got onions in the fridge that I forgot to include here. But that's the rough meal plan for now. Stay tuned if you guys want to see what I actually end up making because those clips will be attached after I wrap this video up. And please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel as it really helps me out. what the final product looks like guys super tasty super simple and super healthy so thanks for watching please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and i'll see you guys in my next video